The Fourth Battle of Cape St. Vincent was fought on 5 July 1833 and was a decisive encounter in Portugal's liberal wars. A naval squadron commanded by the British officer Charles Napier, on behalf of Dom Pedro IV, regent for the rightful Queen Maria II, defeated the navy of the usurper Dom Miguel. Background while serving in the Azores, Napier had come to know members of the exiled Portuguese liberals, who had offered him command of the small fleet serving Dom Pedro, which largely consisted of a few old men of war and some East Indiamen purchased from the British. In February 1833 Napier accepted their proposals, in succession to another British officer, Captain George Rose Sartorius who was already serving as Admiral of Pedro's Navy, using the name Carlos de Ponza, in a transparent attempt to disguise his identity as a British officer to escape penalties under the Foreign Enlistment Act. In June 1833 Napier joined his new command in the Douro River off Oporto. Dom Pedro, currently being besieged in Oporto by the forces of Dom Miguel, bestowed on Napier his commission as vice-admiral, major general of the Portuguese navy and commander-in-chief of the fleet. An eccentric but indomitable character, Napier restored the situation in the fleet, which had been close to mutiny because of lack of pay, and proposed a new strategy to break the siege. Flying his flag in the frigate Reina de Portugal 46, commanded by Captain F.G. McDonough and with his stepson Charles Ellers Napier as Chief of Staff, on 20 June he sailed from Oporto with his small fleet, transporting the Duke of Terceira and half the Constitutional Army to the Algarve so that they could open a second front in the south of the country, and march on Lisbon. After successfully disembarking this force, on the return voyage he encountered the considerably superior fleet of Dom Miguel off Cape St. Vincent on 3 July 1833, and after two days of manoeuvring in calm and very light winds he brought them to action. The battle, Napier's command was essentially a mere squadron of six ships, three frigates, a corvette, a brig and a schooner, mounting a total of 176 guns. On 5 July the wind eventually got up and at 4 p.m., he attacked the Miguelite force of three ships of the line, a frigate, a rebec, three corvettes and two brigs, mounting altogether 372 guns. Knowing he could not long sustain a cannonade from such a superior opponent, Napier closed against enemy fire and boarded, so that the battle was decided in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. In the event the Liberal forces captured all three ships of the line, a frigate and a corvette, whose crews agreed to fight from now on for Maria II, another ship came over the next day, the remnant of the Miguelite force fled to Lisbon or Madeira. Napier's losses were about 30 killed and about 60 wounded, as against somewhere between 200 and 300 of the enemy including the Miguelite commander, Admiral Manuel Antonio Marreros. On 6 July, receiving news of the victory, Dom Pedro named Napier as Viscount Cape St. Vincent in the Peerage of Portugal. Immediately afterwards his fleet was ravaged by cholera, with appalling loss of life, but he was able to bring it safe into Lisbon, which the Miguelistas had precipitately abandoned after being defeated by Terceira's army advancing from the south at the Battle of Almada. Napier visited Rear Admiral Sir William Parker of the British Navy who was in the vicinity of the Targus, and was received according to his Portuguese rank as an admiral, though he was subsequently struck off the Navy list at the insistence of the French. He was restored to his rank in the Royal Navy within two years and the battle, largely won by British officers and crews fighting for Maria II was viewed in England as bringing honour to the British Navy, the sea victory, making possible the capture of Lisbon from the Miguelites, was the single most important event contributing to Miguel's eventual defeat and overthrow in 1834. Ships involved, 